we're just getting to understand what fiber is and, and its benefit. So when we eat fat and sugar without fiber, the extremes would be olive oil and you know, maple syrup, all the fat and sugar once in our gut immediately gets absorbed. There's no choices, there's no holding back. Everything we eat gets absorbed and it comes to the liver really quickly and it tends to overwhelm the liver and the liver has mechanisms to deal with that. Whereas that same, let's say it wasn't maple syrup, let's say it was uh, a beet. You know, a beet has a lot of sugar in it, but it has got fiber as well and an olive, right? So it has a lot of olive oil, but it has its fiber. So when, the, when you eat the olive oil and the oil's sitting in the gut, it's not sitting free in the gut, it's bound to fiber. And being bound to fiber, that sort of holds the oil from being absorbed all at one time, and you don't get that overwhelming of the liver. So the liver can sort of deal with the, the, the normal metabolism of, of this oil. Another important role that I mentioned, it feeds our good bacteria. If we want a healthy microbiome, we need to eat a lot of fiber. We've evolved to eat non-fiber foods. An offshoot of that evolution is all these diseases that we're seeing, right? These chronic diseases. It's not diseases we in kids. This is diseases we're seeing years and years of this lifestyle. Fiber also plays a role in lowering cholesterol. Generally, fibers aren't absorbed, so their role is to stay in the GI tract. And as they're going down our intestines, they reabsorb excess cholesterol in our blood. They reabsorb extra steroid hormones in our blood, things like estrogen and testosterone, which is important for people with uh, you know, these hormone-sensitive cancers. Fiber plays many, many roles, and I think we're just understanding it now. People should be a lot more concerned about fiber than protein.